Good morning, welcome back to another video. I don't know if I'm gonna post this video just because I had a plan on what I wanted to do today, but it's just like, I don't really know if it's gonna go according to plans. I have to go to three different interviews because I literally was struggling, honestly, guys. Like, I decided that I do want to work, but, like, mentally, I was just going through a lot, and, like, I had to pray a lot about it because I was like, do I want to work? Do I not want to work? Pros and cons to working and not working. And y'all may not understand, but, like, whoever knows me knows, like, I'm a workaholic. Like, that's literally what I do. That's all I know is work. So even, like, coming at you guys with, like, more videos, I had to pray about those because I was like, I want to be able to grow my channel. I want to be the YouTuber that I like to watch. I want to teach you guys things. But then I was like, what can I teach you guys if all I know is work? But God answered my prayers. I came up with a long list of videos. A lot of self-care content will be coming out. Um, I have a Sheen haul coming. Um, even just ranting to you guys and like talking to you guys and just allowing you guys to get to know me. I want to do a lot about that. But I figured out that this summer I do want to do a lot of short videos so I can just make more videos, if that makes sense. Like, short videos do better when you're, like, a smaller YouTuber because people won't get bored of you so easy. And, like, I like to talk, so that's why all my videos are so long. So this is going to be a little challenge. So I'm going to see if I can just make a bunch of short videos. But right now I have to get dressed because I have interviews. And I don't know what to wear. So let me go figure that out. And I will be back. We all there you go. I had you guys on the tripod. I just came back from brushing my teeth. I did film the fact that I was brushing my teeth. But I don't know if I'm gonna insert the clips because I went to use my water flosser and water got everywhere. But y'all, I'm trying to learn how to do my eyebrows because if y'all know me, y'all know like I don't ever really care about eyebrows. Eyeshadow, foundation, contour, all that, I know how to do. I'm still perfecting my base though, but I kind of did them okay. Like I've been practicing every day because I really don't know how to do them. But also today we are going to put up our bed frame because we did get a bed frame. We did get new blankets um pretty soon i'm gonna give you guys a room tour because i'm still unpacking and i have a sheen haul coming because i don't even want to show you guys the amount of clothes i have like it's literally embarrassing but this is what i'm gonna wear today is this cute little crop top if you guys seen my san diego vlog i think i wore this in the vlog i got this from sheen and then i'm gonna pair that with um Look at me out, it's so super pretty. All right, I'm gonna pair that with this cute little mini skirt because like I did say it's hot and then I have some bands that my boyfriend got me because we are not going for sandals today. My toes is a hot mess, hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. We might have to do a vlog about maintenance because as y'all notice, I don't have nails on either. I had nails on when I got here and then like they just messed up and I just had to get rid of them and I was so sad because they were strawberry shortcake and they were so cute, they were so cute. But I might be getting into some press-ons. I've been looking at press-ons like on Etsy and then I found some girls that make them on um, Instagram and ship them out and I might do that because I used to be big on press-ons when I was younger and y'all wasn't messing with them back then but now all of a sudden y'all like them. But and I'm going to pair that with just these shoes. I also don't have too many shoes, so <sighs> we're just going to really be, like, upgrading. Because I only have, like, this much clothes. These are my boyfriend's clothes. And then he has shirts on the floor that I have to hang up. And then his pants. Like, this man got more clothes than me, y'all. Like, it's, it's really quite embarrassing because if you know me... Y'all also know I have a lot of clothes, but I got rid of a lot of things. Y'all, I'm about to fall because I have so many shoes on the floor. I got rid of a lot of things um, just to get here, like just to come to Houston. And so I couldn't really bring obviously everything with me. And then I also I grew all my clothes. I gained weight, which is amazing because 
I went through like a whole like weight loss journey because I was depressed, postpartum depression. A few of you guys have commented on my recent um story time blog or story time idea video on Instagram and a lot of you guys want to hear about my labor and delivery. I don't really talk about um uh, like my pregnancy journey a lot because it was kind of traumatic. Like I did go through a lot of things and it took a lot of prayer, a lot of like a lot, yeah. Like, I wish I would have, like, I could tell you guys, like, oh, my pregnancy was so amazing. But honestly, like, I went through so much, like, in my pregnancy, like, having to get kicked out of my apartment, boyfriend's family talking about me, my freaking sister threatening to kill me. Like, it was just so much that was, like, super traumatic and outside of that even like the pregnancy itself like a lot i lost 14 pounds um my first trimester oh somebody posted i lost so much weight because i couldn't eat anything couldn't keep anything down and then i couldn't drink water couldn't take the pills they gave me couldn't eat food i i wasted a lot of money because you get food diversions where you think you're wanting something or you think you're like so hungry and then you buy it and you're like no i'm not even that hungry so I spent a lot of money on food that I couldn't even eat for like three months. And so losing weight, just the mental stuff, the pregnancy dreams, y'all, pregnancy dreams? Those things are so crazy. Like they had me waking up out of my sleep, storming out the house because my man was cheating on me. My lips are so dry. That's how hot it is out here, y'all. I've been drinking water daily and my lips are so dry. But, like, if you guys want to hear about my pregnancy journey, I can do a little story time for you guys, a little sip and story time. Um, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe, please. Like, I have a goal that I'm trying to reach, and, like, I'm really trying to, like, do different things with this channel. Like I said, I have a bunch of different ideas. I'm going to start getting ready so my thumbnail pictures will look cute because I don't really get ready as much. Just because I got out of the habit of just always leaving the house with makeup on, like, yeah, that's, that's it. That's the truth. But I have makeup. I do have to buy a new foundation because it got old because I wasn't wearing it for so long. But, um, let me get dressed, y'all, because I could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I have to change my outfit because my man wants to be the overprotective boyfriend saying, oh, you can't leave the house like that. So, I put on some pants that are basically black. You can't really see all of them let me oh my god let me put you guys out of the closet i'm gonna get a full body mirror soon you still can't even see like i'm so short y'all oh my god oh let me see <laughs> this is so crazy okay basically you get the point like it's just pants and then i'm gonna wear my boots because I still have to be giving you baddie. She knows she had 10 and she got baddie friends. But my man is cooking breakfast right now. I'm trying to hurry up and go to this interview since I have other ones. And I don't know how long they're gonna take. I don't know. But I thought I almost fell. But yeah, like I said, at first I wasn't even gonna work. My face looks kind of bad but okay. i'll probably take some outside um yeah at first i wasn't gonna work because i was like yo like i finally have a summer to myself so why not take advantage of that um my bed is a mess but it's okay but i, was like, I finally have a summer to myself why not take advantage of that um, make more content and go enjoy my summer and finally do things that I've never done because y'all like if I'm being completely oh my god I hate putting on these boots maybe getting so stuck if I'm being completely honest I haven't had a summer to myself that I haven't worked since I was like 15 and a half because I got my first job at 15 and a half so I think like I've been working for like over six years and I've never had a summer and I feel like in some shape form that's not healthy so I was really excited to finally get a summer I was like oh my gosh I can finally get a summer to myself and 
But then I was thinking like, oh, like I want to buy a camera for my channel. I want to get a computer, a desk. I need some things like for the house, obviously. And I was like, well, how am I going to do that with no money? And then I was like, okay, then if I go work, I can meet people. I can have friends in Houston. Like I can just, you know, network and stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, well, maybe I should work. And I applied at this one job. And they were very close by to my home. Their minimum wage was like super low. They were trying to say like, oh, um, the minimum, you, you get started off at $2.15 and here. And I was like, hold on, wait, what? What do you mean? Like, what's that? But you make a lot of good tips. And it was like a fine dining restaurant. I passed the first interview, passed the second interview. They loved me. And I still never got a call back. So I prayed about it. I was like, God, like, if this is the job for me, blah, blah, blah. Like, what should I do? Called them. Like, they're supposed to call me back Monday. Didn't call me back. Called them Tuesday. Told me to call back at the end of the week. Called them at the end of the week. Then they called them three different times because God was basically like, oh, this is not where you need to be. But I was like, okay, let me just make sure because I just want to triple check like be thorough you know basically they were like oh um like we didn't get you like we have your in um we have your interview stuff we have your application we're still reviewing it and the training lady was like but they haven't passed it to me so right now like you obviously like didn't get the job and i'm like step this way because i really want to change the fit so this is the fit and then this is the this is the fit let me go get some deodorant on and then some perfume but yeah y'all it's been a week since i talked to you guys i'm using the starlight um by bath and body works perfume this perfume smells so good like when i was working at panera i mixed this with uh my chanel perfume my no wait was the chanel perfume no the burberry perfume and it's a good combo and a lot of people really, really liked it. And I always smelled good. Like my clothes always smelled good. I used to leave my like sweaters there or something. Everybody's like, oh, this is this is a cure. It's like it smells like her. And I just miss that. Like another thing that I do want to talk about on this channel is like growing myself as a woman because I was talking to my boyfriend about it, and I really struggle with the concept of like I'm a woman. Like I know I'm 22. I know I'm a mom. But like there was a point where I would feel like a teen mom, even though I was like way over my teen years, like when I had her. So I do want to talk about that on this channel about how it feels to struggle with knowing, like physically not feeling like a woman just because I'm small. So I feel like a girl. Um, I don't dress how women dress, and it's I feel like it's all about how you carry yourself. So, but I know like you can see me, and then you'll see like a, another person or another like woman and think like oh she's a woman i look like a girl everywhere i go i look like i'm 14. everybody says oh you're 14 you're 15 16 then i tell them i'm 22 and i'm a mom and they look at me like i'm crazy so like just how mentally exhausting or like depressing i get sometimes when i don't feel like i don't look a certain way so i'm not a woman or even when i went through a stage where my mom would never call me an adult even though i was doing adult things at a young ass age okay so i'm just living the first little interview but it's, it wasn't like an interview. I just applied, tried on the outfits. Oh, you can see it. Okay. I just applied. I tried on the outfits. Um, they took pictures. So it was really chill. The girls are like super, super nice. But now we're on interview number two. Okay, I just left the second interview. And, well, not like I said, not interview. I just applied for the second job. But it took forever like they had everything on paper and it was like one of them old school applications so i'm probably not going to get it because as i walked up i realized that their hours that they have are not lining up with what i need so i just said that i couldn't work weekend so we'll see on to the next y'all i just popped back in to say that i didn't go to the third interview just because i already know that i would get that job so i just want to make sure and it's not a place that i really 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 want to work it's just like my last option because it can't be too too picky but um i just decided that i'm gonna wait to see how the first interviews go this week they said to call them back in a few days for like updates and stuff so i'm gonna call them back and then i have two more interviews next week 
and then if not then i'll just take the last option but i really don't want to but now low-key y'all i'm overthinking the first place that i went to because i know i can do the job i know i look cute or whatever but they took my picture and like my back shot was just like now i'm thinking about it and i feel like it was just so ugly it's, the front picture and the side picture were fine my personality is fine my availability is open like i have experience i'm pretty nice i'm really good at my i'm really good at serving so i'm like yo like what if they like look at my bag shots and then they're like oh no we can't hire her so i am so extra i was literally thinking about calling another one and reapplying at the other one and or calling the same one and being like hey can i just take my pictures over because it really isn't gonna matter but yeah so anyways after the second place we went to um i know i said this wasn't gonna be long but it might it might be long but i might just edit a lot of this out but after the second place we went to we went and got some canes and then we came home because we're going to a festival tonight and like i said it's like a little anime festival i think it is what it is so they're gonna have a lot of crazy foods so right now, we're just going to go and kill time because I didn't want to be in the house. Um, I'm probably going to go to Dee Dee's to see what they have, like affordable household items. Because we got our bed frame today, we got our blankets. We do need a new sheet because our sheet is black. And I'm going for like a light and, like, light and airy feel in the room. So um, in the room is going to be like some grays and whites and like plants and some cute some cute i don't know because i get stressed out when it comes to decorating things so i'm like a perfectionist but at the same time like decorating is like my area like i love decorating and stuff so we're probably gonna go to dds to see if i can find cute things for the house okay so we didn't find anything so we're just gonna go to the next spot because it was like really empty there but yeah we're just gonna go to the next spot Okay, yeah, we finally made it to the festival. It was a long day. So these clips might be a little bit unorganized. But I'm going, I'm gonna try to see, say hi. No, not paying attention. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get some clips in here and see how many people, hopefully it's not packed, but it looks kind of packed. But it looks pretty cool, pretty exciting. All right, y'all, I'm at the festival, and I got this fire freaking drink. It's like, uh, they call it Hibiscus Sunset. Uh, it's from this one stand. I don't know, but it's so good. Like, so good. I don't even like hibiscus. And then I also got, um, I'll flip the camera around, this. Sorry, I got my forks and spoons in there, but it's shrimp fried rice. <gasps> oh, heck no. I know y'all seen that. This is being disposed of. It's shrimp fried rice. And then these are apparently lobster ball roll thingies. So we're going to try these and see how I like them. Okay, we're trying these. These are really good. Here, yeah, try them. Come on. Get in frame. My hair looks a mess. It's hot. It's so hot in here. We're like in the woods. Hmm. She likes to hold everything herself. But I ain't having that. I paid $20 for the food. Okay. Look. That's how you gotta get in. She's getting in a phase. Oh, when she don't like eating food like that. Y'all. This literally makes it perfect. This bench is like holding my phone up. I just dropped my freaking beautiful drink. Trying to help my daughter. This is so good. Now remind me, it tastes like, it kind of tastes like fish sticks though. But, wow. 
No matter. I don't want to get my hands all on the camera. But I'm about to try the shrimp fried rice. I love, I think I said this in my last video. Your girl loves her some shrimp, okay? Uh, I am a fried rice girl, so. Oh, I'm gonna try this. I'm so hot, it's hot out here. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday. I look so bad. Oh my god. I cannot wait to just get my skin together because it did not used to look like this. So please forgive me until it gets together. But I'm looking at the video that I made on, I think it was Saturday, and I never even ended it off. But basically, after what you guys see, I fed her. We ended up not being able to t i never even took videos of like the scenery hi mama hi she just woke up i never took videos of the scenery because everything was pretty much closed so we basically just went there to try the food joseph got pork belly and um some kind of meat or something he said it was okay um we ended up coming home and putting her to sleep and then like i said i think i explained it in the video that I made Sunday so this is my ending off of that video I hope you guys like that super super random come with me to apply for job videos in Houston but like I said trial and error I'm just trying to make some videos and then progressively get better as we go on so I might post it I might not post it I might just post it just because what the hell but have a good morning